Hey guys, how are you? I hope you are doing well in your life. Myself Vikrant and welcome back to Dev Town. So in this particular video, we are gonna see what is type conversion and what is coercion in JavaScript. So it is a very interesting topic, as you all know that in JavaScript we cannot say that this uh, variable belongs to this particular data type. Okay, like uh, like this happen in programming languages. So we are going to see that how can we convert the data type of one variable to another. Okay, so let us see this with the help of our VS Code. So right now I am in my index.js file. So see, first thing that we know is let's say if we are declaring something with late keyword, let's say I am uh, inputting variable a, and I say that. Uh, a you just store the value of three. So right now my A is uh, storing the value of three, which is of type number. And how to how to check type of any variable? Okay, so let's say if I want to check that uh, the type of variable A. So what I need to do type of I can write and simply by giving one space I can write the variable name. Just saving it and let us just run it. See it is a number. We are getting in our output. Okay, and the another way to write this type of is by writing type of, and in parentheses we can pass on the variable. See, so this works in the same way. Okay, you can write either this type or the previous one. No issues. But let's say if I wanted to change the type of variable a, so what I can do in the next step here is, let's say I wanted to assign a a string. So I am assigning a a string. Let's say dev town. I am assigning it. And now let us see what it will give us. See, it is giving us a string. Okay. So right now my value is being changed. Value of type. The data type is being changed. It has become string right now. And we can further uh, change it. Let's say if I again make it, let's say boolean. Uh, false let's say and in the next line if we check the log so that's the indentation and let's say type of and again I'm checking type of a only let's clear the output and see see what I'm getting right now boolean because in line number six I have again changed the data type and have assigned the value of boolean true or false represents boolean value okay the one another thing that I have wanted to uh, make here is let's say if I wanted if I want to make this three a string this three only I don't want to write any character and something like that. So what I can write here is C. I just need to, need to write string as capital and in parentheses I can pass on the number. And right now if I see C I am getting string. So right now my three will be getting considered as string. Okay, if I try to add something to the string, let's say a is equal to a plus file it. Okay, and let's say if, if it is a normal number, then what will happen here? The value of a will get updated over here that a is equal to a plus five. It, it is same as a is equal to three plus five. And what should be my output over here? On this line number five okay I'm not checking type of here I'm I just wanted to print the a C I'm getting eight in the output which is absolutely correct mathematical if we see now if I convert my a into string and now if I try to find out what does a have and let's say I'm saving this and clearing my output and let us see Right now I am getting what 35. How is it possible that I am getting 35? Just because in the line number three, the A that we have is string because it is getting converted into string on line, line number one itself. Okay, so that's why we are getting A plus phi. So A, A is what right now? A is string and phi is number. But in JavaScript, if we, if we are concatenating two things, so it will consider A as string over here, which is absolutely right. 
so it will also consider phi as string and it will just concat concatenate the string with uh, a doesn't matter how how much we write after this see we are writing six seven so you guys might think that it will just calculate the sum for this five six and nine no it will just print a which is three and it will just attach the values to three like three five six nine if i wanted to show you the output let us see see what i'm getting three five six nine and if it is a normal number then it will give me the proper calculation of addition c i'm getting proper addition 23 so that's the uh, that's the thing and that is the whole thing behind type conversion how we can convert the type of any variable to any another data type let's say okay so this is uh, just in case of string and suppose if you want to convert any string let's say here is a string of 356 and i wanted to con and i want to convert this 356 into see first of all the type of 356 is what it's a string yes you can see in the output and right now if i wanted to make this a number then i simply need to pass on number and parenthesis and capital see if i save if i run it right now see my type of a is number correct yeah so in this way we can convert our strings into the number and uh, the another thing that i wanted to convey here over here is see uh, if i want to have this string uh, let's say if we are adding any character specific character in inside this let's say i'm adding o two times o okay and right now if you see what does it uh, what it should give me just comment down before uh, before seeing just stop the video and comment down in the video section see what it is giving me a number okay it is giving me a number that my string is getting converted into number if i try to print out the value of a normally by comma separated you will be able to see that i am getting an a n and what does this n a n represents so this n a n represents that my value is not a number and how it is possible for javascript see javascript will see whatever we are trying to convert into number javascript will see whether it is it of is it in a proper format of a proper number is it a proper number or not if it is having some any other characters irrespective uh, other than the numbers numeric values then it will simply say that that is not a number so that's the case okay so you should be aware of these type of errors also okay and after that what uh, we can see over here is let's say i want to have new date so new date is one syntax again to find out the current date of system and if i try, try to say print it out see what i'm getting i'm getting object uh, my current date with year month and timing and uh, sorry date as well year month and date okay and the uh, timing current timing okay so in this way also uh, you can find out the date actually so this it's it's a date actually and why it is showing that it is object so let us try to print out this thing see i'm normally saving this see what is my output my output is this so this is the object my new date is object Okay, so this this is a way to print out your current date of your system. So that's not the new thing. Okay, the next thing which I wanted to convey to you guys is let's say if we have a, a array of numbers 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 and if I if I'm trying to print out the type of A then how why like uh, which type it should give me it will give me object because you know in javascript everything is object even arrays are object see it is giving me object which is but like proper very proper answer no issues and why it is object let me show you see like i think you are not able to see this thing over here it is showing a proper array over here but the array comes in key value pairs so let me do one thing 
if I attach my index.js file to this HTML file, I'm which I'm creating a normal sample HTML file. I'm adding I'm adding what script tag over here. I'm adding one src which is linked to this index.js file. And let me just open this index.html file in my browser. See, as soon as I open this file in index.html in my Chrome browser, if I go to inspection and if I console it out, see right now you are able to see the array over here, which is in the form of C key value pairs zero. So on the left hand side, you, you can see there are indexes and on the right side, right, right hand side, the values of that particular index. So it's the object only. You can see, you can uh, apply which properties to the array over here. We have a lot of properties for arrays. See, like this. Okay, so right now, our, our, our agenda is to see what, what we can do uh, in type conversion of array. So let's say if I wanted to uh, convert this array into string. So what, what does we, we can do? What does we can just simply write string over here. And if I'm saving this thing and okay, I'm saving this thing and let us see in the output itself. What does it print it? See, it is printing the string. And whenever we are converting any array into the string, then it will not uh, check the this signs, this bracket, square brackets. It will not go for square brackets. It will only check the internal values. And if I try to print out the length of the that particular string that we have converted, then you are able to see that my current length is 17. But you might say that Sir, that we have only nine elements inside the array, then how the length is coming 17? See, because whenever we are converting any array to the string, then it will count the spaces and whatever is written inside that array, other than that square bracket. So it is counting the comma itself. So we have how, how many commas here? Eight commas we have. So it is counting nine numbers plus eight commas, which is 17. Okay. And if I, if I try to show you uh, the normal array, let's say if I am trying to printing out the normal length of array before converting it to the string. Okay. I'm just simply removing the parenthesis. And after, after that on line number four, let's say I am just converting my A to string of A, right? A string of A. See, we have two consoles right now. I'm clearing my output and I'm just running it out. You can see the difference. In the first, uh, in line number two, what we are getting? Nine, because it's an array length. And after converting it to the string, it is showing me 17 in my output. Why? Because it is counting what this commas. So that's the thing. Okay, so it's the thing about array conversion and the next in the line we have is Boolean. So. Lots of guys have confusion in Boolean. So let's say I'm taking one variable A, which is having a value of true. Okay. And uh, let's say if we, if we try to log it out, A, it will show me a proper uh, value that is true. And if I try to check out type of this A, then it will show me what? See, Boolean. So that's very precise answer, no issues. But if I try to convert this true into number, See, if I try to convert this true into number, then what will it give me? See, I'm checking type of A also and I'm printing A also. Yeah, it's fine. I'm saving this. Let us run this. See, what I'm getting in my output number, like the type of A is number right now and the value of A is one. This is strange thing, but it is not actually overall strange thing. It is the simple behavior that in JavaScript, whatever false values are there, it will, they will denote and represent in number as zero and the truth values all always been represented as one. So no issues to wonder. Okay. So in, instead of true, if I uh, write false over here, okay, the spelling is wrong. Okay. So spelling is wrong and let us see now. See, I'm getting zero. So that's the uh, problem in case of this Boolean number, Boolean things. 
So two represents one and false represents zero. So that's the a uh, small concept. Okay, so don't panic whenever you are getting the boolean values. Okay, so let us move towards coercion. So what is this coercion meaning? Basically, whenever we are uh, calculating some statement, so in that uh, in that statements, uh, if we try to add some string with number, so ja what does JavaScript will do? JavaScript will try to convert the data types into one another, but it depends on some situations. So that is only the coercion. So at a type of uh, like interpretation or at a time of running the code, JavaScript will automatically convert the data types. So that is coercion. So let us see this with the help of one example as well. Let's say I am trying to add two plus four. So see, that's the very basic calculation. Okay. So it will of course give me six, no issues. But what happens if I try to add one string uh, with that, which contains div and I'm running this. See what I'm getting six div. So what uh, what does it do? So it is just doing it is what uh, it is calculating the sum of my first two numbers and it is just concatenating my div with that particular result. Okay, so this uh, this statement will look like as this to the to the browser wherever our JavaScript has been executed. It will consider this first two things in parentheses and after that it will just concatenate my div within. See six div I'm getting no issues. And what happens if my uh, what happens if I like if I put this div before adding the two numbers. Okay. So let's say I'm selecting this and I am just adding the removing the last div first of all. Okay. Normally if we see right now, see what I'm getting div 24. So in this case, my uh, these two numbers are not being added to each other. So they are just simply concatenate. And why is this happening? You might say that this is a very weird behavior, but no, J what JavaScript will do, do is it will see whether my uh, first, uh, whatever first option is, if it is string, then it will consider all the remaining things as a string and it will concatenate them. So before string, if before string, if you pass on the proper number value, it will add on them. It will perform the calculations, whatever is needed. So let's say I'm adding four plus, sorry, four plus, four plus four plus six. So it should give me 14 Dave. And after that, uh, this two, four. See, it is giving me 14 Dave and then two, four. So that's the type that's the type cohesion that is happening uh, behind the scene whenever the code is uh, running on our uh, browser. Okay, so I hope you guys have got the idea how this type type conversion and coercion is being happened on the back end whenever uh, the code is being run on the browser or anywhere on local machine as well. So that that is it for today's video. I hope you guys have got the idea how these things work. And trust me guys, JavaScript is very interesting. If you haven't checked out our playlist, then do check out our playlist. And if you are new to the channel, then do subscribe. And don't forget to share this beautiful content with your friends. With that, I will take, I am taking leave and I will see you guys in next video with some interesting topic. Till then, goodbye.